I told you, I don't want to go to no prayer meeting. But Big Julie, you gave them your mother. And if you love, don't cause me no little embarrassment. You don't want to cause me embarrassment. Then you're trying to shock me that I would go to prayer meeting. Well, these are first of talk to me. <laughs> Adelaide. Oh, what a coincidence. Adelaide, it's nice to explain to you about tonight. I hope Ray's sore about it. Please, let's not have a bowl of seat. After all, we're civilized people. We have to conduct, conduct ourselves like a sloth. Adelaide, what is this? You are my doll. Your doll? The one so amusing one could laugh at it. Sweetheart, baby, how could you carry on like this? Over one lousy elopement. Adelaide, please. It's no use, Nathan. I succeeded. Can you not be able to upset me no more? I've got you completely out of my... Oh, Nathan! <laughs> oh, Adelaide, don't ever do that to me again. I can't stand it. But we'll get married. We'll have a home. A little white house with a green fence, just like the Whitney colors. We gotta do it soon, Nathan. I got another letter from Mother today, asking a lot of questions. She's been waiting for you, too. A letter? For me? From your mother? <laughs> uh, dear son, Nathan, this is my first letter to you, although you have now been married to my daughter, well, yes. <laughs> but I feel like I know you from Adelaide's letters, and in my mind's eye I can see you as you go down to work every morning at 7. What a responsibility it must be to be the assistant manager of an AMP. <laughs> I'm not even the manager. <laughs> well, I want you for Christmas. I know how hard you have to work to take care of your family. Adelaide and five children. And the one that's on the way? <laughs> but the one that doesn't need, so I had to tell her that. Don't she know I can't have six kids and one that pay me at the AMP? <laughs> I'm very proud to have you as a son in law. You're a good man, and I know you'll always take care of that. Church. I feel like a heel. Well, it's not too late, Nathan. If I miss him tonight, let's elope right now. Okay. No, I can't. Why not? Come on, Nathan, we'll be late. Come on. Nathan, why can't we elope now? Because, well, I gotta go to a prayer meeting. <laughs> Nathan, this is the biggest lie you ever told me. But I promise you, it's true. You promise me this, you promise me that, you promise me anything. You're just a son that you give me a kiss, you grab your hat, and it's all just a race again. Why think of the time? Hey, hey, hey.